The guys and I are in Nashville now. Um, we're going to be here for about two weeks. And we are doing some writing and recording for the record and all that. Um, and I just got done flying to Nashville for the day. And my skin just feels terrible right now from flying and not sleeping last night and maybe just not eating right the last week. It's been like Cameron's birthday week, so definitely picking out a little too much. So I thought now would be a really good time to show you guys my skincare routine um, and how I'm gonna get back to normal. And this is a routine that I use at home and on tour and when I'm traveling all over. And when I stick to it, my skin always feels really amazing. And I can always tell when I stop sticking to this routine because then I start breaking out again. Um, it's really low key for products, that's it. I like to keep it super basic. At one point I was getting really into the whole like, oh I have to use like this serum and this moisturizer and this mask like every single night and my skin was just not doing well with it. So I finally found a really good balance um, of exactly what I need. So the first thing that I do is take off my makeup um, and I'll start by using these makeup remover packs from Neutrogena and I have God, I must have gone through at least like maybe a hundred of these in my lifetime so far because I've tried so many different makeup wipes, but these are just, they're the best um, out there in my personal opinion. They're really like soft they're, and um, they're perfectly like moistened, I guess is the right word for it. Like they're not too dry. I've had like makeup wipes that are like not damp enough. They're also really good for sensitive skin because I have pretty sensitive skin and they will take off waterproof makeup as well. And they're also really good for travel. I don't really like using um, like oil or you know any kind of cream makeup remover or whatever else you use just because you always need to have like cotton balls or a towel or something and this is just completely self-contained. You take it out of the pack, you wipe off your makeup and then you throw it out. So it's really good for travel. Um, really super duper convenient for me because I'm traveling literally all the time. So I just kind of stick to these guys. The mascara I'm actually wearing right now is, I'm wearing this, it's from Dior, I can't remember what it's called, but it is super waterproof. These are even having a tough time getting it off and I've tried every makeup remover I own, but it just doesn't like to come off. The face wash also breaks down makeup, so I don't even really have to use this. I feel like I get all of it off if I take most of it off with this first and then use my face wash to like really get anything that's being stubborn. So I switch on and off between two face washes. Um, one is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, which if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen me tweet about in the past before, which I absolutely love. Um, I ran out of it recently, so I tried this other face wash that my friend Emily told me about because she has the most perfect skin that anyone's ever seen. It's disgusting. It makes me want to vomit because it's so perfect. She like doesn't have pores or something. Um, and she told me about this company called Skin Worship. So I bought a couple of their products and then I reached out to them about this video and they sent me some stuff as well and I've been using it like crazy. This stuff is so good. The whole rest of my routine is basically just Skin Worship products. I actually just love these products and I can't rec recommend them enough. Um, they're so like natural feeling, like there's nothing like chemical about them. But anyways, for my cleanser, I either use the Soy Face Cleanser from Fresh, which is amazing. It's really good for guys too, because it's not like scented or like fruity or girly in any way. It's like super normal. My brother actually uses it. But the one I'm using right now is the Skin Worship Cleansing Ritual. And it was not my smartest idea to travel with the pump. It definitely got all over my toiletry bag, but that's okay. But anyways, this stuff, is amazing. I really like the way it smells. Um, it's got all like natural ingredients. Like if you read the ingredients, they actually look like things you recognize as opposed to just some random chemical compound. And it's just, I've noticed such a difference since I started using it. My skin is super clear as opposed to when I'm not using it. And it makes my skin feel really clean after. I feel like some cleansers, I wash my face and then I'm like, okay. I don't really feel the difference, but this like I feel I feel different And then I used to be so Aggressive with like my face wash. I'd be like I try to be really gentle especially with getting off any remaining eye makeup just rubbing really lightly See here's where I get tripped up guys. I have this stuff, which is really great And then I have the skin perfecting ritual, which is like a serum and it's super light 
And I know I went off on a tangent before about not liking serums, but this serum is the real deal because I did notice a big difference. At first I was just using this hydrating ritual and the cleansing ritual, but then when I started throwing in the skin perfecting serum in it, it was like, ah, oh, yeah, things are getting good. But I just don't really know what order to use these in. For the most part, I'll just use this in like the morning before I do my makeup. And then I'll use this at night because it's like thick and creamy. So it feels like really nice on your skin, especially when you like, I torch it with hot water, which is terrible for it, of course. Um, but then this makes it feel really good. And then sometimes I'll just do both. So I kind of change it up all the time. Uh, whatever, whatever I'm feeling. For, for today, let's do both. Let's do both. So. And take the skin perfecting ritual. I'm gonna take my terrible messy bun out because I hate it. Skin perfecting ritual. Put a little bloop bloop. And then just pat that guy in. Or rub that guy in, whatever I'm doing. Pat. You always see people in like in their uh skincare routines are like, yeah, nah, nah. like they look so nice. And I'm just like, yeah, this is what I normally do, I think. It's all coming back to me. And I use the Hydrating Ritual 1, but if you have drier skin, you could try out Hydrating Ritual 2, and then I just rub that in, and that's literally it. I mean, that also might be way too much for some people, because I know there was definitely a time where it, I was lucky if I would take off my makeup that night, but it does really make a huge difference, at least for my skin it does. When I don't like take off my makeup, I feel it the next day. But also the other thing is, is that everyone's skin is like completely different, so this might be the worst routine ever for your skin, or it might be really great, or it might be like, nah, eh, it's fine. This routine just works for me. It's one I've been keeping up with for the last few weeks, or maybe two months almost now, and my skin's felt really good, except for the last week when I wasn't keeping up with it and was eating like a complete garbage can, but when I am keeping up with it, even when I'm like sweating on tour and traveling and on planes and buses and just gross recycled air all the time, my skin stays really clear. So I definitely recommend at least trying out some of these products. It's Sunday, it's just about time for Game of Thrones. I have an appointment with some dragons and uh, I'll see you guys next time I remember to turn my camera on.